Hello, everyone. It is Don Carter. It's time for Twitter Scope. I am so glad you're joining me. Let me go ahead and. Oh, there we go. Hey, welcome. Hi, Chris McManamy. How are you? Welcome to Twitter Scope. Let me just adjust this real quick. Janet Fouts, good to see you. Hi, you guys. Welcome to today's episode. I'm just trying to get that hashtag sign. Why is it so hard? There we go. Yeah, it's just, it's all about, it's all about the framing. Welcome everyone. I am Don Carter. I am so glad you're joining me. It is time for Twitter Scope. Daily Twitter tips. Really, really quick. Usually around five minute. Hi Darcy. Five minute, sometimes up to 10 minute tips. It depends on how interactive everybody feels. But my name is Don Carter and every single day I'm here on Periscope pushing back the veil of ignorance that surrounds Twitter. Uh, for those of you, <laughs> hi Janet. For those of you who have either said it yourself or you hear other folks say, Twitter sucks. I am here and a lot of the people that are joining me either uh, live or on the broadcast or the replay knows it doesn't have to suck. So today's episode, we are talking about etiquette for newbies. Now, I know a lot of the folks that are watching may not be newbies, but this is Twitter etiquette for newbies. And this might be a good one to pass along. What the heck even doing the weekend? Oh, <laughs> I do. I do it on the weekends because you know what? It's only about five, about five minutes. It's not a lot. If you have friends who are new to Twitter and just this morning, I saw a local friend who just got on. I got a notification that says your friend just joined Twitter. It warms my heart. Let's go ahead and start people off the correct way. So we're going to just dive right into that. If you want to catch any of my old replays, hey, thanks for sharing you guys. My old replays are, can be found at catch.me slash Descartes. You guys, we're up to episode 60. I'm uh, dying. I cannot believe it. I haven't done anything 60 days in a row. <laughs> well, that's not true. <laughs> like, once you're a parent, first time you have your, let me just throw this in there. First time you're a new parent and you have to change your first diaper. You go, I'm, this is the grossest thing. I will never do that. Oh my gosh. And then after a while, you just stop counting because it's just part of life. So uh, the consistency, it's been a while since I've had newborns in the house. So the consistency of doing anything <laughs> for 60 days is pretty funny. So anyway, twi let's dive into this Twitter etiquette for newbies. I want you to pass this along to any of your friends who are new to Twitter. And how can you tell? They have the egg. They're, if their profile is an egg, they are new and they need some instruction. So you guys be good friends and pass that along to them. So number one, what would you tell them? Number one, the first thing I would say is say thank you in any of the interactions that you have as a new person on Twitter. If you have, um, if someone refers you or says welcome to the Twitterverse or welcome, say thank you. It kind of almost goes without saying, but you need to, a lot of people don't realize, really, I can say thank you? Yes. Say thank you. It is a social medium, which means it's almost like you have poker chips. Imagine that. When you're new to Twitter, you don't really have any chips at all. You're just an egg, no pile of chips. And as people are kind to you or pass along information or whatever, you're basically, they're giving you some of their chips. They're giving you content or they're helping you. So you always want to say thank you. So even just saying thank you is a chip. You're giving out a chip. So I want to, oh, <laughs> you're welcome, Janet. I, I wasn't trying to solicit thanks from you guys. So number one, say thank you. Number two, respond to at mentions and retweets. What that is, if you're new to Twitter, an at mention means that someone else has actually used your Twitter ID in one of their updates. So for instance, I may say, hey, thank you, at Jay Fouts. And that means that tweet that I sent up out is going to show up on her notifications timeline. So I know it sounds really confusing, but if you just open Twitter, whether it's on your phone or your computer, notifications is where people are actually kind of, it's like saying, psst, they're talking about. So that's what you want to hop into is notifications. Um, what's Blab? I will talk about, oh, I will totally talk about that. Blab is the best thing since sliced bread. It's a think um, public conversations between, uh, it's like FaceTime for four squares. We will, actually, I'll do a scope later about what Blab is because I love it. So number one, see, I got derailed. Uh, number two, respond to those app mentions and retweets. The reason why, if you're new to Twitter, someone might be talking about you. Blab is this whole topic on its own. Yes, it is. And a lot of the folks that come in and watch my scopes, I actually met on Blab. So it's fabulous. Great, great teaching tool. So respond to your app mentions and your 
um, retweets. Because again, it's an interactive medium. If someone retweets you, basically that means you typed out or shared a link to an article or you said, oh, happy day, the sun is shining and you posted a great photograph or whatever. Someone, someone else picks that up and retweets it to their followers. It's like saying, this is cool. So if someone says, this is cool, you should absolutely yeah, they should do that for homeschool kids. They should respond to that. Number three, never buy followers. I should have made that in all caps. I just read a great post by at socially Sam, if you're not following her. Oh my gosh, such, such good information at socially underscore Sam about buying followers. Now you would think, well, what's the problem if I want to jumpstart, you know, 99 cents for 500 followers or whatever? Don't do it. The reason why is it's a interactive medium. You never want to buy followers because what it does, it's it's basically it, will, it looks like you're desperate, which is no, it's a big no no. That's right. Don't buy followers. Um, number one, they're not usually real people. They're just like fake accounts. So you're like, well, well, if I'm just starting out on Twitter, I don't want to just show that I only have seven people follow me. Do not be tempted. Do not be lured by vanity metrics and don't think, wow, if people see that I have a ton of followers, I'm somehow cooler. No, 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 no. Bunch of bots. Yes. Don't do it. Um, the trick to growing a genuine, authentic social media following is to be providing good content, being interactive. And if you have a bunch of bots following you, you cannot interact. So just do not. Never, never, never buy followers. So newbies, do not be lured in. I'm buying followers. Well, I'm sorry if you're buying followers. Then you know what that that's your you know that's your choice. But if you're using Twitter to do um, interact from a business perspective, either to build your brand, your personal brand, or your brand for your business, don't do it. it you know what it does? It shoots your credibility. Don't do it. Last one: auto DMs. No, no. So I gave you I gave you two things to do, and then two things to avoid. So. Newbies, what's an auto DM? An auto DM is an automatic direct message. What it is, it's you've got your general timeline on Twitter, which is like conversations. It's like a public, you know, chit chat or whatever. DMs are like text messaging just that person. You have to both be following each other to be able to send a direct message to each other. The problem, at least that's how it used to be. The problem is this is what happens. You will follow someone and you'll automatically get some kind of direct message that says, thanks for the follow. Go read this. And, blah, blah, blah. and all of a sudden you've got this whole, it's all, it's spam. It's spammy. I'm being asked to do something when I don't even know you. I just followed you. Don't ask me to do stuff if I just followed you. That's why people who've been around Twitter and in terms of Twitter etiquette consider auto direct messages spammy and bad form. I know people that will actually unfollow people that if that's the first interaction someone has with you, it's just this automated, automatic thing. Uh, not a good first impression. Just, just don't do it. I'm not saying never automate anything. I'm saying don't make your first impression automatic like that. Super, super spammy. Yes. So you can tell if it's an automatic message because it'll say from Crowdfire or it'll say something like that. Just don't do it. Don't do it. Because again, you have to remember that this is an interactive medium and it's social. So if the first impression someone has with you is, oh, look at my spam, not a good, not a good first impression. So, hey, glad you guys are joining me. That was it. So today's, oh, where's my card? Here we go. My Twitter tips today were etiquette for newbies. Just a couple. I don't want to overload you because A, good for you for jumping onto Twitter. It can be a scary place. So I don't want to discourage you. That's why I just kept it to four quick tips. If you can just do these things, say thank you. If you respond to, and when I say respond, oh, where's my little pointer? Oh, I'll have to find that. When I say, oh, here it is. See, I, if I, there's a chance to use my pointer, I want to. Respond to at messages and re, um, retweets. Part of why that's important is you need to do it within a timely manner. So if someone says something nice about you, don't wait like, three days to get back to them. So just check on those. Check on those every day. It will not kill you to set your timer and check for five minutes to just check your at mentions and your, your uh, notifications. So there you go. Twitter scope, Don Carter at Descart on the socials. You can catch all of the replays here at catch.me slash Descart. If you have questions, 
Thanks. Have a good Saturday. You too. Hey, Michelle, thanks for hopping on. If you guys have questions, can you see the hashtag? Look at this right behind me. See that? Twitter scope, if you can see that. Hashtag Twitter scope. If you have questions, either um, you can DM me and give me, or you can make it public. I don't care. Reach out to me on Twitter. Reach out to me in on Twitter is the best way. If you have questions, use that hashtag Twitter scope. I promise I will answer them. Right? Right, people that are joining. I will answer your questions. If I don't know the answer, I will go ahead and find someone that does. So just want to let you guys know. Uh, there we go. So just want to let you guys know I'm here every single day at 10 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Don't know what time zone it is where you guys are at. Or if you're catching this on the replay, want you to know we are pushing back the veil of ignorance that surrounds Twitter one scope at a time. You guys, your questions guide the content here. So send me your questions using hashtag Twitter scope and I will answer you. All right, guys, I will talk to you guys later and I will actually be scooping later on today from a, a brewery tour. So I'm kind of excited about that in about two hours. So you might want to hop back on Periscope. Follow me on Twitter and I'll let you guys know when I'm going to uh, Periscope from the brewery tour here in Riverside, California. I'll talk to you guys later and I will see you tomorrow. And again, let's push back that veil of ignorance that surrounds Twitter. I will see you guys later. Bye.